So, you want to play Destiny 2, but you don't own a console, or all you have is an Ultrabook. Is there any hope for your gaming experience? This is Alex from Low Spec Gamer on Laptop Mag. And with some effort, you may actually get this game working on a laptop, even if it does not have a dedicated GPU. First, let's talk about drivers really quick. Many popular laptops ship with Intel HD drivers that are modified by the vendor to extend battery life at the cost of some performance. If you try to update your drivers using the automated Intel Update Utility and you get an error similar to this, then that is likely your case. If you have no problem with losing some battery life to get some extra performance, you can take note of the driver version the program was trying to install, download a zip file of that driver on the Intel website and install it manually by searching up your GPU on the device manager, right-clicking and selecting Installing Driver, browse my computer for driver software, then let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer, then have this, and then navigate it to where the zip was extracted. Inside, there should be a folder called Graphics, containing a .inf file that you can select. The whole process can be a bit of a mouthful, but all instructions are also listed in the article below, so make sure to take your time and follow each element carefully. Another small tip I should share is that on a laptop, it is always a good idea to configure the Battle.net launcher to close every time you open a game because, well, you will be surprised of how much CPU you can use while in the background. Right, let's cut to the chase and get to the important part. Let's talk about what you can do on the game itself. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you to drop all the settings to the lowest, but you will be surprised to know that on the three laptops I tested, there was still one more small thing left to disable for the bit of extra performance. The configuration file for this game is located on your user's app data, roaming, bungee, destiny pc, prefs, cbars.xml, which can be opened with Notepad or Notepad++. And you might notice this thing called Local Light Shadows. This is sometimes disabled by the game's auto configuration, but if that's not the case, you can disable it on the file. This does not disable all shadows, but rather only shadows generated by a specific sources of light, often indoors. The effect is really subtle, but removing it can boost your FPS, even if just a little bit. Now let's talk about this setting. This controls the internal resolution of the game, meaning that you can keep dropping and dropping while still maintaining a readable text and readable UI. If you're going to play on integrated graphics, this setting is your best friend, and lucky for us, it goes all the way down to 25% of external resolution. So, limiting ourselves to a console like 30 FPS, just how much are you going to have to drop to be able to play this game? I'm going to test on three laptops, a Xiaomi Notebook Air, a Xiaomi Notebook Pro, and a more capable MSI GL62M. All these laptops have dedicated NVIDIA GPUs, but for the purposes of this experiment, they have all been disabled, and the game will only use integrated graphics. For the test area, I picked the Hangar Fight near the start of the game, since it has a high number of enemies and effects. First, the Xiaomi Air has a 7th generation i5-7200U dual core with an Intel HD Graphics 620 and 8GB of DDR4 RAM at 2133MHz, a very common CPU among 2016 and 2017 laptops. On the game's default settings, this ship was not able to handle any combat whatsoever. It was really hard to aim. So this required going to the lowest. 25% internal resolution with pretty good results. There were drops when fire and explosions were involved, but the game was surprisingly tolerable. Destiny's two characters on level design really goes through, as it is still quite possible to distinguish enemies and their attacks and navigate a fight quite effectively. Let's try something different. The Xiaomi Notebook Pro 8th generation i5-8250U with an Intel UHD 620 and 8GB of DDR4 RAM at 2400MHz. This generation of laptop CPUs started being sold on fall of 2017, and now I could raise the internal resolution all the way to 40% and what a difference! Compared to how it was before, this is something way more tolerable. This is far from the experience you will get on a dedicated GPU, those pixelated edges still reminds us that we're on sub-720 conditions, but you can start fighting effectively at a distance, and you can start noticing details on these models. Let's finish up with a 7th generation i7-7700HQ with an Intel HD 630 and 8GB of DDR4 RAM at 2400MHz. This is the most high end of the bunch, an HQ model with a higher TDP often found in more expensive laptops. 
With this, I was able to raise our resolution to 50%, and this time experiencing very brief reductions from our 30 FPS target. Evidently, the difference from 40% to 50% is less pronounced, and the best place to notice it is the visibility of enemies further away. So in conclusion, can you play Destiny 2 on an Intel HD laptop? Yes, well, depends on your expectations. Well, this is far from the experience you might get from a gaming PC, the game's stellar visual design comes through even on the lowest resolution. So, give it a chance, you might be surprised how fun this game can be when you take it with you.